been broken, beaten down. Tasted dirt as I hit the ground. You were there, you were there through it all. Hey guys, welcome into my channel. Thanks for joining me today. My name is Sherry. We are here with yet another installment of Planning on the Porch. It's a beautiful day and we're just gonna sit out here and play it. I'm working in my Erin Condren mid-century circle, seven by nine. It is a horizontal layout. I am using this planner for my social media, trying to get better about my social media, my Instagram, uh, learning more about Instagram stories and things like that. So let's hope this planner keeps me motivated to do so this week. So if you want to see what I'm going to do, stick around and we'll get started. All right. Well, guys, if you're new here, welcome. Welcome to all my new subscribers. If you're returning, welcome in. I hope you've enjoyed some of my videos. I hope you got a chance to see my garden tour video. I want to do one again in July because I like to show you the progression of the garden. Um, as much as I can. So yeah, I hope you saw that. And if you didn't, I'll try to link it for you. Uh, it's a pretty cute little video. It's not real long. Uh, I don't have a very big yard, so it doesn't take long. Anyway, I thought I would use some stickers from this book. I did buy the sticker book for this and for my flora, but I haven't used it yet. So uh, let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you. I'm still working. This is a plum paper planner from last, from this current year. I wanted to take this off and relocate it because I've got an idea for this. I love these little things. Um, so yeah, I put June of 2020 in 2021 in here just to so that I could start in here in um, June. And I came across this video and I'm going to link her video and um, you know, her YouTube channel, her name is Ramona Vasquez. And she had the neatest idea on how to set up the social media page. Now in mine, I had to do it a little different because it was plum paper. She was doing it in, I can't remember if she was doing it in an Erin Condren or if she was doing it in a monthly happy planner layout. I don't remember, but anyway, her channel will be linked below and I'll link anything that you know I can find on her, but I definitely will link her video and I saved her name so that I wouldn't forget. Now this, don't pay too much attention to that. I, that I'm, we're working that out. But with this one, I thought this was so cool. And I did this with uh, my Miss Maker stickers because I hadn't played with those in a while and I thought it would be fun. So basically what, how hers was set up was YouTube analytics. And I started on the 10th, so I have mine dated the 10th through the 30th, you know, flag or whatever you want to put for your watch time in minutes for the month of June, um, what the beginning subscribers are, what your ending subscribers, what were your top five videos for the month, and your traffic sources. And she put top geographies, but I don't really think for me that applies. I, I don't think I have traffic from very far. I don't know. I do know that most of my YouTube watch time comes from people that are not subscribed to my channel, which I've always found interesting. So that is probably, I would imagine I'm they're just recommended videos, but I don't know. I don't know that much about it. So anyway, the traffic sources are kind of interesting to know, but that's that's the one page. So that will be actually, that will be this page in the Erin Condren. So in here they're separated, but it's just because of the way that the everything came together. And then the other part of this was um, video ideas to film and then whether they've been filmed, edited and uploaded. So I've got a few I can put in here now and social media goals, which you can see I haven't put any in. So let me, let me bring up my, let me bring up my um, channel on YouTube so I can look at some of this stuff with you. I have done a few. Let's see, I just put my June garden tour up. I did how to set up my Erin Condren, how I set up my Erin Condren A5 ring agenda. Oh, the replacement one. Yeah, so I can go ahead and write those in because that's, let's see, I did how many, one, two, three. So the videos, um, I did how did my 7x9 EC Flora become my EC MCC and my 2020 Plum Paper Planner jumped into. 
<laughs> I'm just gonna put how did my seven by nine planners merge. Okay, so that was filmed, edited, and uploaded. You see Flora plan with me. And I may find that I may have to make these longer if I find I'm doing you know, more videos, but a five replacement. Got a lot of views on that one, so how I set up my A5 ring agenda. And then this morning, I've got my garden tour edited and upload, uploaded. Um, so that's that social media goals. Let's just write down what were my goals to get more consistent, stay consistent, grow, grow channel, which it is growing, improve IG. Okay, so those are some good goals for that. That was pretty easy. And then the other page was, um, I began with 790 subscribers on the 10th of June. I'm now at 803. I don't know what my top five videos will be. Um, I can tell you, let me go into YouTube studio, look at my analytics a little bit. Um, so far, I've had most views on how I set up my Erin Condren A5 agenda. My how I set up my Fly Lady control journal still is always at the top of my list. Uh, replacement, Erin Condren, and the June Garden Tour. So those are kind of where I sit right now, but there are other top videos for the last 28 days. Last 28 days, it says I've increased 29 subscribers and my watch hours have gone up 173.2 minutes, I guess. Yeah, my traffic sources, YouTube search, 32% of my traffic comes from YouTube search, 31.6 from browse features, 23 from suggested, channel pages 5.2% and other is 8%. You know, it's interesting too, top external sources, Pinterest.com. It's 45.5% of my views. That's interesting, I didn't know that. Yeah, I don't know. My, I don't really have, my audience is between 35 and 44. So that's interesting because I have nobody my age that watches me. So I'm 58. <laughs> And according to this, most, well, 100% of my average age of the people that watch me is 35 to 44 uh, women. Uh, United States is 61.9%, and that's all I know on that. So, yeah, so it's kind of interesting to look at your analytics. So what I thought we would do real quick today before I wrap this up is to... Um, I want to set up my July, these two pages with you. And I'm going to do it real simple. I will have to refer back, obviously, because, you know, my brain. What I was thinking was this one could be, because this actually worked out good over here for the video ideas to film. I'm going to keep that and I'll make it longer. And then just the July goals. So that's that's going to be easy to do. This one is the one I have to think about. Could do top five videos here. This could be YouTube analytics, watch time, beginning subbies and end subbies. Maybe this could be traffic sources and this could be top five videos because it'll give me more room to write. So let's grab, let's see what we have sticker wise, just to make something kind of cute. I've already got these. I was bored one day and I was just putting some of those on from the back of the back of the book. Trying to match up the colors if I can, but so what did I decide for right here? This is gonna be top five videos. So this one might not be as decorated if I'm having a hard time finding decoration, but traffic sources dot guy for this. One, two, three. Okay, it's thin, but that's okay. It doesn't, well, it's pretty though. It matches the light blue in the flowers. That's pretty. There, we did it. Yay! And it doesn't even look bad. And then we can come in with, this was the top five videos. Top five. There we go. And then I was thinking we could use, oh, let's just use this. Oh. One. Two, three, four, five. YouTube analytics. 
Okay, let's put this guy over here. The watch time. Let's do beginning Sebi and ending Sebi. And we'll put 7, 1 and 7, 31. Okay, that's good. And then I was thinking that could be something with Instagram maybe. I'm just going to put IG because I don't know quite what I want to do there. But we'll leave that blank, and I'm, I might find some other little stickers or something to put there just to make that. But this isn't going to be really, really, really decorated. Now, this page is that. So that's pretty simple videos, video ideas to film. And then I'm just going to put social media goals, do three for myself per month, and I'll put those down here. But I believe we can put it right here. Oops, that looks pretty good, I think, doesn't it? Video ideas to film. Oh, he's pretty. Yeah, he's pretty. So let's do him. Oops. Hmm. Let's do him right here. Okay. And we can write there. That's going to be... Social media goals for July. Okay, video ideas to film. And then we just need to put, we don't have my longer ruler out here. If this one is long enough. This is, this is going to be hard to write here. Film, edit. Hi, Hummingbird. Film, filmed, edited, and uploaded. And let's give ourselves some dots. Let's do purple dot. No, let's do the gray dots. Where did gray dot go? Gray dot guy go. So let's just give ourselves one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Let's do eight. You know what? Let's do nine. Let's do ten. Okay, so we got those set up. Pretty simple. I told you it's going to be a pretty simple setup. Um, this in here, I keep my YouTube, um, my key for YouTube and Instagram. So I think that's going to be it, guys, for this. Let's take a look and then I'm cleaning up and getting a snack. So yeah, so basically what we did was we just got set up for video ideas to film for July, social media goals for July, some analytics from YouTube. You could also do analytics from uh, starting and ending analytics on Instagram for followers. Uh, so yeah. So anyway, I will get this edited and uploaded and I'll get Ramona Vasquez tagged because this idea did come from her. So I want to make sure she gets all the credit. So all right, you guys, thanks for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video.